Hi and welcome to this demo. Today we're going to talk about Centrify Privilege Service. CPS for short, it centrifies additional entry into the privilege account management market. And the idea is very simple. Organizations need scenarios in which they can request, check out, check in, rotate privilege passwords for shared accounts. Also they need privilege session brokering and additional capabilities. However, many of our customers have actually told us that current solutions today have several problems. They are expensive, slow to deploy, get in the way of the end user, and actually promote more identity silos, which is something that you want to avoid. In addition, organizations are going to this hybrid mode. They have on-premise infrastructure and SaaS infrastructure and IaaS infrastructure, perhaps in Amazon, Rackspace, or Google or even um, uh, Microsoft Azure. Those use cases, along with the need to support mobile devices, are really important. First, I'm going to show you the Centrify dashboard. The dashboard is really cool because it shows you exactly what's going on with the, you know, your, your privileged uh, accounts and resources. It shows you the makeup of the resources. In this case, I have a combination of Unix and Windows devices, if they're healthy where my, secret, my recent checkouts are coming from with an overlay of geographical location, uh, what's my activity, if there's any password checkouts or any sessions going on. As a matter of fact, end user experience is very simple with Centrify because we, we give you SSO and this is part of this app platform. Well, end users can access the Privilege uh, Manager console by just simply clicking on, 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 on the shortcut and they're going to get SSO. Why? because an authenticated session with Active Directory already has a Kerberos ticket. Remember, Centrify has been providing AD bridging for years now for non-Windows platforms. Another benefit is multi-factor. And for us, multi-factor has to be according to modern use cases. For example, I have a session right here and I have a mobile device, which I'm gonna have to connect. So what is it that I need? I need additional information because today, um, you know, I need, I'm going to have users coming from a lot of places and I need to be able to provide granular control and granular information ahead of time. So I have my mobile device I'm going to go ahead and, and attempt to log in. I'm logging in from the outside and I set up a step up authentication. So what you'll see is that my user is going to, is going to, um, is going to be challenged. And of course the user has to be typed correctly. Um, it's going to be challenged for their password and they're going to be have to providing a step up authentication. So in here, I'm going to type in my password, satisfy my challenge, and notice that it's going to, it's going to ask, give me several options, including email, SMS, and others. But in here, I'm going to use the mobile authenticator and in my mobile device, I'm going to get a, a challenge. And it's going to provide me with relevant information that is needed in modern mm -hmm. use cases. For example, in here, this challenge is telling me, hey, you need, um, you're trying to access, but is it you from this mobile, from this IP address and location? This is much more relevant than the typical OTP scenario. I can just go ahead and approve it because I know this is me, but if I needed an, a, a traditional OTP, I can also get it as well. Another benefit is usability, right? So we can combine scenarios in which people can access both their applications and servers that they need access to. Notice in here, I have Salesforce, to which I'm going to get SSO. But if I need an assisted uh, 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 session to, as a route to a system or as administrator, I can actually request it from here as well. Notice in here, I'm going to log into the CentOS machine without even knowing the password as root. However, I need granular control. What that means is if I'm an administrator and I need to be able to proctor one of these sessions, I can go to the privilege manager um, uh, window here and I can do a watch session and I can see exactly what's going on in this, in this context. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide my mobile device and I'm gonna move this to the right, this window to the right. And everything that I type in here, I should be able to see it right here. So if I do an AD info, and let's go ahead and type it here, I should be able to see that AD info minus T. So this proctoring is showing me exactly what's going on. This could be a consultant. 
then I really need to see exactly or to, to learn what's going on. I could actually also say, you know what, I'm going to terminate that session because I don't really like what's going on. So I can go and do a termination of that session. If I go back to the session, notice that it's been terminated. Another benefit of the solution is the typical shared account password management scenarios. Resources can be today Windows, Unix, Linux, iOS, Juniper, and more are being added every month. And what is it that I need? I need, I need the typical password checkout capabilities. And notice that I can do an account action. And here I'm managing the root account. I already have this checked out. This is one of the, the ones that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and check it in. Right. If I wanted to check out another resource, I can just right click it, um, account actions. I could do a, a display checkout. Right? I have it checked out in here. And if, when I check it in, I'm gonna be this is gonna be rotated automatically. Notice that I have 60 minutes to use this. Let's talk about uh, modern scenarios, right? One of the benefits of Centrify is that it does provide mobile readiness, right? I'm gonna go to a different environment here, and I'm gonna go to my workspace, and I'm gonna walk you through a scenario. What if I uh, lost access to a system because the system it went to single user mode? I'm in a data center that is in a different building than my workstation. I could actually go to my mobile device that, you know, if I'm enabled access, not only I have my, my web applications, like you've seen before in many of the other demos, but I also have this resources tab that shows me the servers that I have access to. I could actually um, try and check out that, you know, s safe mode or single user mode ser service from here. And what you'll see is I'm going to get an additional challenge. This is for Touch ID for iOS or uh, Android devices. And I'm going to have to provide my fingerprint to be able to check out the password. Notice that I have the ability to also extend the time or check it in. If I go back to the portal right here, you'll see that I have that additional capability of seeing that and, check it, and, and you see the checkouts. If I wanted to check it in, it's going to be checked in. And if I look at my work, workspace, you'll see that I, I don't have any checkouts. This is which, way much modern, right? Being able to quickly deploy this solution without having to procure expensive hardware and having the flexibility to store those secrets both with SafeNet on-premise or also with a secure storage in the cloud. That's a lot of flexibility. In addition, uh, remember, Centrify has provided end-to-end -end auditing for uh, sessions for years now. We can have this jump box scenario, right? But what is the, the critical problem with jump box scenarios? If I go around the jump box, the sessions that I'm doing, I'm not going to be audited. With Centrify, and I'm going to go back here to that same session, I could actually use my on-premise direct audit capability to see not only what all the sessions that are initiated from my jump box scenario, but also the sessions that are done directly into systems. So I can actually look at today and I want to see the activity of today, I can actually uh, take a look. And uh, let's take a look at a, at a transcription in here. This is my typical transcription, right? And let's take a look at a user that we know, for example, Diana right here. This is, this is a session that I, that I created before. If I need to replay it, I can look at it as a movie. And this is going to give me the centrified player. I can look at it in real time. I can fast forward or rewind. But the idea is that not only I can audit what happens through the jump box, but also what happens directly on the console. Also remember, Centrify developed all their solutions. This means that that same auditing capability is available on Windows. And I can look at sessions, for example, in my member three device uh, that have been happening uh, just like uh, uh, you know lately, or let's take a look at this one. And this is uh, a replay of you know, something that somebody did a while ago. So, again, end-to-end -end auditing overcomes the limitation of the typical scenario in which you have somebody going around the jump box system, okay? Again, as a recap, Centrify does provide now shared account password management, privileged session brokering, end-to-end -end auditing, and, and that complements what we have with Server Suite, but it's also oriented to those modern use cases in which you need 
you know, multi-factor that is with geofencing. You need a simple experience for end users so don't, they don't hate the experience of using a shared account password solution. You need also to t take into consideration that you may have service in the cloud and you know deployment appliances, procuring appliances to put in the cloud, those are expensive propositions. And also it's the time to market, right? You're able to deploy the solution in 15 minutes rather than going through the motions and procuring, and getting hardware, redundant hardware, and really complex licensing schemes. I'm hoping that you actually um, enjoyed this demo and uh, check us out at centrify.com.